All right, where we left off, I had brought my uh, spot illustration with the text that I, the color text that I designed for it without any background into Redbubble. And what this does is it allows me to see how it works on a lot of different uh, purposes, the versatility of the spot illustration. And that's why we designed it on black, on gray, and on white. And it should look good on all of those, right? So I'm going to choose uh, that navy blue as my preferred. Now this is for a little bit larger. I can scale it. I don't want it to crop out of the printing space. You can pick a different default color. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Is it is for all these different products. Now, what's nice about Redbubble is you just disable the products you, you don't think are all that great, that don't apply. The one I always love is the sticker, right? Especially for spot illustrations. Stickers are wonderful. And for any of these, like for instance, if I wanted the phone wallet, which I've never sold one, I don't know if people buy wallets for their phones, but you can also pick background colors and then you can um, record the code of it. So kind of a navy, a grayish navy. I can copy and paste this and then match that on other products should I want to. And even if I pick those settings and I like them, I, I can still disable it, right? So if I liked that color and I want to put it on a pillow, I can do that. But then decide, but I don't want people to see that pillow yet. Disable it. So on and on and on. And I really only want this as a shirt. That's what it's designed for. It's just a fun little pun. Well, I'm always amazed at how the clocks kind of look cool, almost no matter, no matter what the product is. I do like the canvas bag. Now, this is another reason I, I kind of wanted to do this before I finish up the poster assignment is you get a sense of how your work looks on different backgrounds. And if you like it, then that might inform what background you use for your poster. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that this is digital art, design and illustration. Uh, what do I want to show? I think I want it to go with t-shirts. These are all things you can set up. And then what's the default image? I want it to show up as a t-shirt first. Do I have nudity, lingerie, adult language, alcohol, drugs, blood, guns, or violence? I do not. And do I have the right to sell this product? This they're very big on, right? You'll get your cease and desist letters otherwise. Does it feature a company's name or logo, any person's name or face, and any featured words or images created by someone else? That's the big thing, created by someone else, right? No, this is all original. And I have, I have the rights. It's my son's idea. I'm stealing it from him, but no, no one knows. He won't sue me. He wanted me to do it. All right. So that is how we finish it up. All I need to do to finish the assignment is to pick a background. And I'm thinking maybe kind of a canvasy paper, kind of a tan paper, and I'll run it behind. And then these are the different products now that are available with your artwork. And what's fun is if you see one you really like, and you, you can put it up onto uh, the Redbubble, kind of share what you've done. So like this one, you can open that in a new tab, save it, add that to Redbubble as an example of how my spot illustration might be used. Okay.